animal fact for the day is that foxes eat songbirds, which is why it seems particularly weird and a bad idea for this tufted titmouse to be messing with this fox quite like it is. What he's doing is he's eventually going to get around to finding out just exactly how comfortable this fox will get, and then the bird is going to start plucking the fox's hair. It's in the early spring here in central Texas, and this titmouse has been building a nest, apparently. I don't know where. We haven't seen it. Uh, but he's gathering uh, animal hair uh, to fluff up the nest and insulate it. A lot of you have probably seen, if you've taken apart a bird's nest or perhaps seen a bird building a nest, that they use animal hair when they're about oh, two-thirds or three-quarters of the way finished building their nest, they'll start putting in some animal hair and weaving it in, and, and it helps you know, kind of pack things up and provide some insulation there. And I had always assumed that they got the hair perhaps from dead animals that they find around or, or something like this, but frankly, it never occurred to me that they would go gather hair quite like this, especially from a direct predator of theirs. After we got this video, we did a little bit of looking on the internet and found that there are some folks who have posted videos of titmouses, or titmice, whatever you want to call them, uh, that are plucking hair from a sleeping dog. Typically, it seemed to me that they were probably elderly dogs who were a little bit, you know, not as snappy, uh, maybe, as a a small, quick, you know, young dog. And I haven't seen any internet lore about uh, titmouses uh, plucking it from, from wild animals and especially not from their direct predators. In any event, uh, this little bird was making a good day's work of it and eventually got around to finding a spot kind of there in the little mid-belly area that seemed pretty productive. And this bird just starts harvesting away and eventually comes up with a mouthful. It was kind of a coolish uh, day here in central Texas in very late February. And this fox was just laying around snoozing. It's inside kind of a... I'm going to call it a playpen that we've actually made uh, to, to try to attract uh, some of the wild animals. And the way it's constructed is it's set up in conjunction with an underground den that we built and then surrounded it with, oh, about five feet tall ring uh, brush uh, in, a, in a ring, sort of a corral ring around it basically to where coyotes can't see in and can't jump it and can't, in any event, can't come in quietly. Uh, so if you can force the coyote to make noise, then the fox can protect themselves uh, from it by getting in under the underground den. So when the weather's nice, the foxes will come and hang out here, and some of the an other animals do too, occasionally deer, raccoons, or, or whatever, and and I guess the birds know where to find them and know that the, the animals are going to be snoozing. And, and this bird kind of punches at the fox enough times to get, it to, get the fox to get used to it. Uh, and apparently it's not particularly bothersome. And after a while, he just pretty much sleeps through it and lets this guy gather the hair he needs and take off and go build his nest.